Hey, hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how we can create purchase requisition using REST API in Oracle Fusion Cloud. Before going to start, let's discuss about the identifying identification process of our API. How you will identify or find the API for creating the any transaction in Fusion. So yes, first step, I will show you the API from where we co you can find the API. And the second step, we will learn how we can prepare the request payload for that specific API. How you can identify the value, what kind of mandatory values and what all are the values you need to pass while creating the transaction using REST API. And in last, we will see that how we can execute the REST API using Postman. And yes, in further videos, in next videos, I will show you that how we can use the same API to create the transaction from REST from Oracle integration. So let's begin. So before going to start, I request you to, if you have not subscribed this channel yet, please subscribe this channel and don't forget to like this video. So now here you can see the first step is to identify the REST API. So I have searched on the Google and I found that Oracle provided the various REST API to perform different, different transactions. So here, if you will see, this is the Oracle doc and in Oracle doc comes under the cloud application and inside that we have procurement. And in the procurement only, you have to select the API. You have to select the REST services. And inside that, we can see that we have different, different services for different, different transactions. So now this time, we have to create the purchase requisition. So here you can see inside the purchase requisition, we have one option that create one header. So create one header, it means we are going to create the requisition. And here, if you will see, this is the API with the method of post. And here, we have six credentials. Like you can see the supported media type and we know that whenever by default we are calling API, that's media type is application JSON only. And then we have the request payload. So if you will see the request payload, you can go below and scroll down and you can see the sample request payload. So here you can see the example one request body. This is the request payload for creating the purchase requisition header only. But whenever we are saying that create purchase requisition, we have to create purchase requisition with header and line, even with the disk. A weather and line. So here you can see if you go below, you can see this is the response of this re this request. And if we pass the request with the lines, you can see we have the second example request body. In the request body, you can see they provided some values. They provided the header information. This is the header information. Then we have the line information, and inside the line we have the distribution for each and every line. So one is in a Requisition single header can have multiple lines and multiple lines can have the different different distribution. That's why we have the parent and child relationship, relationship here. So now you can see I, I just follow the same request payload. So I have just make a copy of this request payload and I created a actual request payload. So here you can see in the notepad, I paste the request payload, same request payload and I, I create the sample data. So how you can identify the sample data? So what I have done, the first I created the purchase requisition from front end. Once I created the purchase requisition from front end, I tried to find the same purchase requisition using API. So here you can see in the first tab, I have the get requisition API. You can see this is the requisition. And in the requisition, I added the query parameters where I provided the requisition number. So I got the requisition, whatever requisition we created from front end, I searched the requisition using API here. And once we search the requisition, we have the requisition details. The same, this API is for getting the requisition header. The second API, you can see the line child lines. This is for finding the child or finding the lines of each and every requisition. So I use these two API to find the requisition and requisition lines using REST API so that I can get to know about all the values, whatever values we provided from front end. So yes, friend, there are some times when we required, when we create purchase requisition or anything, any transaction from front end and in the back end while creating the transaction, we need to provide the ID instead of the name. So for identifying the ID, you can write a BI report where you will pass the prepare name and it will return back you the prepare ID, that kind of things we can do. So here you can see I created the payload. So requisition BU. So what will be our requisition BU? So what I have done, I created the requisition from front end. And once we created the requisition from front end, suppose I created this requisition. And at the time of creating the requisition, I got to know about all the details. You can see requisition BU, entered by, 
creation date, justification, what we have inside description, line items number, line category, you can see the item category, pens and pencil, item quantity, unit of measure, EA, approval, and all price. All these things I get to know about from here only. You can see the request, Calvin, Roth, and all. The delivery tool equation, settle, and the destination type, expense, all these things once we created, I we know that while creating the information requisition, we provided this information. The same information I query from the API. And once we query, we have the tag, and based on tag, we have values. The same value I replaced here. As we are going to create for testing purpose, so that same we can ask to different team to provide so that we can create using the integration only. So before going to create integration, we have to just verify ourselves as a technical developer to the API, to the payload. So that's why we are creating integration using REST API. So here you can see we have the payload, the API, and this is the request payload. And in the request payload here, you can see we have the requisition BUID, prepare ID, internal, internally manu, managed flag, description, all these things we have here. But here you can see in case of requisition BUID, you can provide the requisition BU name also. But in case of prepare ID, you cannot provide the prepare name. So why I am saying that I have already tested these things. That's why I'm aware about that. That's why I have to provide the ID here only. The same we provided as a requester here. You can see this is the prepare and the requester in the case we have the same. And all the other details, the destination modules and all. So how we can get to know about the requisition ID, requester ID. If you will see how I know that requester ID. Because I created requisition from front end, and when I query the same requisition using API, I get to know about that. So here you can see this is the requisition header, and in requisition header, in the response, in the query response, I got to know about the requisition BUID, requisition prepare ID, all these things. We have the prepare name and the prepare ID. So I required while passing the value, we required prepare ID. That's why I copy the prepare ID from here only. In integration, you can use BI report to pass the name, requester name, and based on the name, it can return back you the ID. That kind of thing, we can create logic over there in the integration only. So now here you can see I have prepared the request payload, request payload to create the transaction, create the purchase requisition. So I copy this one and I pass the same as in the creation. Here you can see we have the create requisition payload. This is the API. And the API we have to pass. So here previously I will remove and now I passed here. Here we have to pass the value. So right now we created, we already created requisition with this three name. You can see the rest 03. So now this time I will use rest 04. You can use whatever name you prefer. This is the requisition description. And here we can say the items, item description. You can use whatever you want. There can be the different different item as we are going for testing only. So I used item category as pens and pencil and the item description as classic 0.5 mm pencil black. Quantity I provided here, the price, both all these things we can provide in the mapping while creating the integration. So now we done with all these things. I have already provided the credentials in the authorization. Header is perfectly fine. Now I am going to hit the tail send. So once I will click on send, it will pass the data, execute the API, and it will create the transaction. So you can see, we didn't provide the requisition header ID in the payload. So once they created the requisition, they provided the requisition number. This is the requisition number, and this is the requisition ID that we can set the requisition header ID. And here you can see, this is the requisition, requisition ID. And if I will search the same requisition from front end, let me refresh the page. Once I reload the page, you can see that the same requisition is created here. Let me navigate. It's not loading. So once I will click again to the purchase requisition and here you can see we created the requisition requisition using REST 04. You can see this is the same requisition we created here. If instead of 04, if we will pass the 05, the new requisition will be created with same details. I will show you. So click on send. We send that requisition created and if you will see the number, requisition number is 204151 and here you can see 5. Let me refresh here again. So in the fusion, we don't have a refresh page. So I will just again go back and click here and here you can see the requisition REST 5 created with the ID, the requisition number 2041. Once I open this requisition, you can see this is the requisition as in the requisition, 
we provided the line so you can see we have one line with item 4 and the price is 19 so total price is 760 dollar you can see same values we provided here quantity 4 price 90 and the currency code usd and all each the requester id the same we provided all this even we added the distribution so here you can see we have all the details and now you can see right now it's in the incomplete status for changing the status we again need to come to the fusion and we have to edit so one and after the edit we need to submit again so that all the required details they can add so here you can see once we edit we added one distribution line and for the distribution you can see we have the details the charge account and all the details coming from here and we know that these all are coming from the set of parts we configured you can see the same requested by 23 delivered to location settle and the requester Roth Calvin and the same values you can find in the payload only here you can see deliver to location settle deliver to organization 001 all these things and now here if you want we can go and we can survey submit here so once it will submit it will go for approval so you can see right now its status is in pending approval after a few times it will it will load and the status will be changed to approve so that can be based on the approval hierarchy you added so this is the simple way we can create requisition from front end and the requisition from using rest api so yes friend if you have any other queries and you want to ask anything you can put a comment and yes i request you to don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you so much for watching if you want to connect with us you can connect our linkedin with the name arrange for only thank you so much again